Hey everybody, Mont Yeager is the Cast Iron Marketer. Wanted to shoot a quick video for you today. Show you the difference between two cast iron skillets I have in my kitchen. One I've owned for about eight years. I'll show you how the seasoning has built up uh, over the time that I've been using it. Compared to one I bought about two months ago. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see I got uh, two uh, cast iron skillets on my stove. This here is one of my uh, newer purchases from about two months ago. Uh, this is a Lodge 10 inch. And I'm uh, going to kind of try to get close up here and you can kind of see that it's uh, got a little bit of a, uh, you know, they, they come pre-seasoned and so it's got a little bit of a rougher um, edge on it. You can kind of see the, the uh, see the grain of the metal on there and you can kind of hear the scratching sound and it's, it's a little, it's a little rough, but I've been using it more often and the, the seasoning, they also call it a, the patina the fat and the oils from the foods that you cook in it starts to build up on uh, build up on it as you use it. So the more you use your cast iron skillet, the better the seasoning is going to uh, get on it. Now over here I have a 12 inch one that I've had for about oh eight nine years, and you can see that it's really smooth. Now that's the patina, the seasoning that's built up on there, and uh, it looks like it could probably end up uh, re-seasoning this one which I probably will do uh, before summer comes around when I take this guy camping. And so you just kind of see it's nice and smooth. I'll try to get a close up. It's smooth and it's uh, not uh, bumpy or grainy uh, like the one over here. You can kind of see it, uh, the difference. Uh, this one here, I just uh, got done putting some uh, vegetable shortening on it a little bit ago. And this one here, I just actually washed up. And so uh, after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up and put a nice little a small amount of vegetable shortening on it and just to put a layer on it. That's something you want to do after every uh, every use. Uh, basically what you do is you, you warm it up and put it on uh, medium heat for about five minutes or so. Uh, you'll feel the heat come out of the handle here up to the handle and when you know uh, that's getting warm and it's time to uh, go ahead and put your seasoning back on there and what's that what that's doing is opening the pores in the metal so the actual uh, seasoning or the, uh, the vegetable oil that you're putting on there will uh, soak into the cast iron uh, which also cr helps create the patina or the seasoning on here. So uh, there you go. Well there you have it. Hopefully that video was able to give you a little bit of an idea as to what to expect when you're cooking with your cast iron cookware uh, as far as seasoning is concerned. Uh, one thing I can stress again is just to go ahead and wash it out after every use. Bring it over to the sink. Uh, get some warm water underneath it. Uh, use a kitchen sponge or a uh, wooden spoon if you have any built up food on there. Once you get all the food off of there, bring it back over to the stove. Heat it up over medium heat. And once your handle starts to get warm, you know your metal is good to go because your pores are opening up. Apply your vegetable shortening on there. Uh, I usually let mine dry uh, in the open for a couple hours before I put it away. Uh, if you do have a lid for yours, go ahead and place a paper towel or a rag between the skillet and the lid. And so you create a little bit of an air gap so uh, air can get in there and circulate around so no uh, moisture gets trapped in there and creates your skillet to rust. Hey, Monty is a cast iron marketer. Thanks for watching. Head over to my blog at cookingwithcastiron.net for more tips and blog articles. Thanks for watching.